<laughs> Hi everyone. Probably should lower this. Uh, actually, I feel like maybe we're in a good spot. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca from Chemnitz and we have a really big, big box to open up today. Um, as you probably could tell from the title, I have a new piece of equipment here that will be really, really helpful on the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. Uh, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and I'm an indie dyer. I love to dye yarn, but probably the most lengthy step of the yarn dyeing process is the drying. Um, you have to wait for the yarn to dry, which can take a while. Now I have many times used a salad spinner, which is a great way to spin out some excess water. It does speed up the drying time. Uh, but you know, you can only fit maybe two skeins of yarn in there and there's a limit to how much water you can spin out. And this is why a lot of indie dyers like to use laundry spin dryers. Um, apparently the yarn doesn't get tangled and you can get them nearly dry or at the very least not dripping. So then you can hang them up uh, and things will dry faster and maybe then you can dye even more yarn. I am very grateful that uh, the Laundry Alternative Company, or the Laundry Alternative Inc. sent me this spin dryer for free uh, so I could test it out, give it a review, and uh, I guess aid with all of the stuff that I do here so that way I can create more videos for all of you. So hopefully, um, <laughs> hopefully that is helpful. Um, and so let's start opening this up. Uh, oh, excuse the uh, construction noise. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, <laughs> for some reason they're doing stuff on my street today. So hopefully it won't get too, too loud. Uh, but let's open up this box. Now, I don't know a ton about the spin dryer yet. I haven't read the manual, um, so that is something that I will need to do once, you know, it's all open and, ooh, wow. Okay, it's a little bigger than I thought. I was expecting to open this up and find another box, but this big box is actually the box that it came in. Although, I guess I, the, the company shipped this to me directly, as I said, for free. Um, and so I'm not sure if this is the box that comes in, if you were to say order it from Amazon. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's, ooh, there's a handle. Okay, let's take this out very carefully. Oh, it's coming out of, possibly like, ooh. All right, so this is big. Um, but let's see what else is in here. I'm gonna remove the big box. That might become part of a boxosaurus at some point. Um, good morning, everyone. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so there is a piece of metal. I'm assuming that this is just to, like for protection to keep the box from getting crushed because it was on this piece of styrofoam sort of at an angle. So that's my guess, but it's just, ooh, there's something else in here. Um, a little rubber, rubber doodad. It's usually cheaper direct from the company, not from Amazon. Um, I think that it's about the same. Um, I do know, I believe they're a Canadian based company, but they do ship in the, in the US. Uh, and so I have links uh, to both in the video description. Hi everybody. Um, yeah, and my the link that I have to Amazon is an affiliate link, um, but the link to Laundry Alternative is not. Okay, so there's this rubber thing. I do know, okay, let's see if I can, I'm gonna bring you guys lower. It's so that way. Maybe I can show you guys more of this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It does also come in black. Um, and then around, I can move my 
shoes. <laughs> Around the back, there is a power cord. And I believe from the one thing I've read online that there's not an on off switch. It's like a plug unplug situation, but there are some nice little, um, it's like little clips there. So that way you can wrap the cord up, which looks really nice. Um, this is a spin, spin dryer. So this is the laundry alternative Nina soft spin dryer. Uh, and maybe I need to back up even more so that way we can see the whole thing. There we go. <laughs> um, and so she's pretty. And so basically, I think, aha, I think you use like a bucket to collect the water or something. I'm obviously gonna need to read directions, but okay. Pull to turn off an open lid. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I, I see. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. It comes with some like, if I can get this out. Oh dear. I don't want to. I haven't found a manual of any kind yet. Aha, it's in the inside. Okay, but this is kind of cool. Look at how this is like packaged together to protect the inside. Um, Ooh, there's like a plastic thing that I'm sure I will learn more about. Um, and I will bring you over and, oh, well that's pretty, um, pretty simple. But the one, okay, so the one thing I do know is that there's something on the bottom that needs to um, be removed in order for it to work. Aha. I'm assuming it's these clips and hopefully it's not a huge problem because this one is clearly uh, broken. Um, shoot. So hopefully, hopefully that's not a problem. There's definitely like a piece missing. So the I, my contact told me to make sure to remove the ties at the bottom or else it won't work. Uh, these did arrive, the ties arrived sort of broken and snapped. Um, so I will make sure to let you guys know whether or not that is an issue. Um, oh, it's a little foot. Okay, thank you. This little foot goes right here. I'm assuming. Uh, aha, there we go. Does this little part come? I'm trying to see if I can see any of the zip tie components down there, and I don't. So there were maybe some pieces of it down below. Um, all right, so this is the spin dryer. It looks like it could be really easy to bring around because it has this handy carry hand, carry handle. Um, that's cool. And then, so you move that open and it opens up. Uh, and let me show you guys the inside. So the inside, I'll bring you over. Yeah. Can you see? No. Um, it looks just sort of like the inside of a washing machine. Because this is actually a piece of laundry, laundry equipment. Um, <laughs> so, hi, those of you, if someone is coming in watching this because you're interested in this for laundry, um, I'm using it mostly for craft purposes. <laughs> but uh, I will actually, the first thing I will be testing out with this will be some t-shirts. Um, and I wanted to do the unboxing in an evening, but today I wanted to tie dye some t-shirts and they're really wet and for complicated reasons, I didn't want to use my washing machine. And I was like, perfect opportunity to test out the spin dryer as the first step. Um, okay, so we did cut these off and that's the one thing it says up here. There's a little yellow label that says, caution, be sure to cut and remove completely the two plastic ties and the metal bar from the bottom before the first use. So, oh! Those ties must hold this metal bar on, maybe. I'm assuming that this is the metal bar. 
I hope that's the metal bar. Um, and that there's not an additional metal bar. But I have no idea. I'm assuming that this was the metal bar um, that said to make sure remove. Yes, this is for yarn dyeing. So I am very, very thankful. So the Laundry Alternative sent me this for free um, so that way I could play with it, review it, and yeah, give it a shot. Apparently they are a small family company, which is really, really cool, I think. And I know um, a lot of indie dyers use it. Oh, they add those to your washer when you move so that because you could damage the drum. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I'm curious if now, oh yeah, it will, I mean, I can't like spin it manually, but I can tell that it will spin. Um, yeah, it is adorable. So it looks like um, you do need to have, and I'll bring the camera lower again. So it does look like, just from first glance, I still don't know what this is for. I'm gonna look that up. My focus is not doing great. Um, Uh-oh, what's this? Hmm. That could be related to this. It might not be. Um, hopefully not. Uh, <laughs> oh, it goes on top of the wet clothes? I see, you put it on top. You guys are so good. All right, so this does fit. Wait. So I just started to put it, oh, I see. So it does fit sort of in the drum. I guess it keeps like if you, yeah, it must keep it from like moving up and down. So yes, this is just a, this is an upgrade to using the salad spinner to dry yarn. Um, so apparently the few things that I have read so far is that it's supposed to get fiber or clothes night, like about 90% dry. Um, and so then things aren't dripping which might mean, oh, you don't need to have a drying rack in a bathtub to catch any drips. Um, potentially, depending on how like easy it feels to clean and stuff, um, I'm not sure if I would put dot something in here that hasn't been well rinsed per se. Like I would still wanna rinse things first, but um, there's sometimes when there's like a tiny bit of bleeding it could be nice to throw it in here, like remove as much of that liquid as possible and then rinse another time. Um, so, but the instructions look really, really simple. It's just two pages. Um, when you're done using it, keep the lid open to dry out and also keep a container under to catch drips because the drips at, or come out long after you're done. That is good to know. Um, I can stick sopping wet stuff in it. Yeah, I assumed that I could put sopping wet stuff in it. It's more of, um, like, I, it's more of the concern that I would put, like, you know, if, there, if I had roving that I knew still needed to, like, in theory, it would make the washing so much easier if, like, you could pull out all the liquid, because I would pull out a lot of unbound dye as well, but I'm not sure if I would necessarily want to do that. Um, you just used roving in yours? Awesome. Yeah, I've heard really, really good things from a lot of indie dyers about it. So I'm really excited to give it a try. Yes, so that, that was my thought, like that I wouldn't want to dye the inside of it. Um, yeah, because with the salad spinner, I can wash it out really easily, which I don't think I'd be able to do here. Um, it should, so it should never be used with children. I'm just spinning, supervise the spinning process. Um, don't use extension cords or anything between the product and outlet. Um, choose a level surface. Do I even have an outlet? Oh, no. I was like, I was curious if I had an outlet right here. I guess there's not one on that wall. <laughs> um, so it's designed for spinning clothing only. It should not be used to spin dry sneakers, stuffed animals, food, ink cartridges, and toners. Um... <laughs> Um, objects that do not retain fluid. Um, cool. And yeah, I'm just looking through and then there's a three year warranty. So, um, 
Although I guess the, the warranty is void if the use of the product is not exclusively domestic. And so, hey, yarn dyeing somewhat, but I saw a question. Um, oh, congratulations on getting started on YouTube. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I want to rinse the dye. You can wash the yarn, but don't worry about wringing it out a lot. Yes. Um, uh, do you see bleeding coming like through here? Um, the nice thing is like it feels really stable on the ground and I'm really, really excited about it. I was, as I said, I was expecting that maybe it was going to be double boxed. I thought that I might pull out like a product box outside of that other box. So I maybe expected it to be a tiny bit smaller, but I'm not disappointed. I mean, it's about the size of like a medium sized trash can. Uh, so hopefully um, it won't be, uh, hopefully it won't be too hard to, and hopefully the kids won't try to play with it. Um, I mean, it'll be unplugged most of the time because that's how you keep it off. So I'm not actually worried with them messing it, but uh, <laughs> I am really, really excited to give this a fair, cho fair shot. And um, I keep just looking at the instructions. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to give this a shot and to do like a more comprehensive review. Um, I will probably try it a few times before I film the review, just so that way I can get a better feel for it. Um, but I hopefully you guys trust that I will uh, share my fair, fair opinions. But so far, I think that it's really, really cute. It's like cute. It's compact. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, we'll be giving it a shot in like just a couple minutes. <laughs> so laundry alternative. Thank you. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I, this has actually been a piece of equipment that has been on my list for a while. Um, and so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to give it a shot. I think that you know, for those of you that are increasing your rate of production and have limited space for drying yarn or fiber or what have you, something like this could be a really, really good tool to have in your arsenal. Um, yes, it is very, very much like the dryers that dry swimsuits in a locker room. It's just like the spin cycle on your washing machine. It really is spin only. Um, so I think that that is really, really handy. Um, and I'm excited and curious to see if I see no bleeding while I'm washing the yarn, will I see any color come out of here? Um, but those of you that have one, if you have a recommendation for a good like bucket or container to use in here, um, that would be, I would appreciate that. Um, because like I use a lot of bins that are rectangular and this does have like a rounded curve. So you could have like an actual round sort of bucket in there. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. And thank you guys for joining me as I opened up the newest member of the Chemnitz team. Um, <laughs> oh good, the rectangular, uh, rectangular bin works. I've plenty of those. I get those at the dollar store. Um, yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, I guess, whew, I, I am so excited. I, I thought, I honestly thought that it was going to be a long time before, like, I got one of these, so I'm very excited to play with it. <laughs> and I hope you're excited to hear how it works because I think who I don't remember the price on top of my head I think it's a oh, I don't want to say a number and then be wrong it's definitely under $200 um, I think the, like it's around like the 150 range 130 um, somewhere in there so it's like all things considered like really um, especially for like the amount of time that it could save is uh, I think really really great um, again, I have a link to the Laundry Alternative um, in the video description. And Laundry Alternative, if you're watching this, thank you so, so much for giving this to me. I know that 
Um, this is something that will make my life a lot easier. And I'm really excited to run around the house with less dripping yarn. <laughs> Because I have a salad spinner, but I don't use it that often because, um, you know, if I'm doing a ton of yarn, it's just slow. Um, so I think that it looks like that you could fit, I think there's a 12 pound capacity. So that's a lot of fiber. Uh, that's a lot, a lot of fiber. So yeah, uh, this is my, the first look at my new gadget and I'm going to go off camera while I'm figuring out the nuts and bolts, but I'm going to go give it a shot and yeah, you guys should be hearing from me again soon. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'll have a full review for you. For you. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so, so much for joining me, and I will chat with you all soon.